If Notion is as amazing as everyone says it is, can it handle recurring tasks? Well, kind of. Today I'm gonna to share two methods to manage recurring tasks in Notion, as well as the pros and cons of each. And of course, at the end, I'll share with you what I personally do, which is probably different than most Notion users. But if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna see more Notion content, make sure you do that and also hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. A recurring task is a task that repeats on a different time scale over and over again. So that could be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or even seasonally. As an example, every single Friday, I have my weekly finance routine. So that's where I'm paying bills. I'm also checking in with the program I use, You Need a Budget, and making sure it's all updated, receipts are all in there, and it's categorized correctly. So that's something I have to do every single Friday. Whether it's meal planning or laundry or changing your mattress or deep cleaning your fridge, there are tasks that you have to do over and over again. And because these tasks are repetitive, that's generally a sign of where you could automate the notification for some of these tasks. Now I have to say that even though Notion can manage recurring tasks, it's not as intuitive as a specific dedicated to-do list app like Todoist. It's just not. I will profess so much love for Notion because it's an all-in-one productivity tool, but it's not a task management system first. You can hack it, of course, and it makes sense if you have been using a lot of digital tools to be able to bring it under one home inside Notion, but if you're just looking for simple task management, I've got to point you in the direction of Todoist. But you didn't come here for a Todoist tutorial, so let me show you how you can manage recurring tasks in Notion. Because like I said before, there are two ways. One, you're setting up the task once and then changing the due date every single time. The second one is a little more automated. You are using recurring database templates. But first, let's dive into the more manual method. The simplest way to do this is to add your task, add the date that you want to complete it, and then do not check it off. Actually go into the task, I'll go into update finances as an example, and you're just going to change the due date to the next, I don't, why is this on Saturday? This should not be on Saturday, this should be on Friday. I'm glad I checked. But you would go into this task and then just switch it to the next day that you wanted to accomplish it. Now, if you want to click done, if you get that satisfaction that I do of crossing things off, then you want to put in a fail safe so that when you click done, it doesn't disappear into oblivion and you can recover that task when you need it. So let me unhide properties here and show you my little fail safe that I have put in here. I added a select property, I called it occurs and I added tags, whether it's just a one-time task or it's done weekly, monthly, or seasonally. And so that way, whatever recurring task that I add to my to-do list, I can just add one of those tags. If you didn't wanna do the select method, you could also add a checkbox property. Just go here, search for checkbox, and you could label it recurring with a question mark. And if it was a recurring task, you could click the checkbox. The main reason why you want to do this is because you want to create some sort of property that you can filter by to pull in all your recurring tasks into one page like a weekly planning page so that you can then go through and change all the due dates at once rather than trying to find all sorts of tasks let me just show you how i have that set up so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so on my weekly planning page i go under here under reset and where i have close out past week i have a toggle that's update recurring task. So any task will show up on this linked database because I have it filtered to only show tasks that occur monthly or weekly. I have embedded another task database that is filtered by seasonally into my cleaning page. So this is just monthly and weekly tasks. That way I can just easily change the due date here at the beginning of every single week and it adds it to the day that I want to complete it. Now you can add a little bit of automation into this process through the use of buttons, which are available for everyone, even on the free plan, or via a paid automations feature. So I used to use buttons before automations came out. So I have this reset task button up top here. 
And let me go into the gear icon so you can see how it is set up. I have this button when it is clicked to edit pages in all tasks, but I had to add a couple filters to this because I didn't want it to do it to all my tasks. So wherever that select property of when the task occurs, monthly or weekly, wherever a task has that in place, and whenever the status says done, so which means I checked it off, then when I click this button, I want you to change the status to now, I want you to clear the due date, and then I want you to add today's date to the completed property. So that just shows down here, I can see when I last dusted the RV, which was in July, and I really need to do that pretty soon. Let's test out this button so you can see how it works. Down here, I have checked clean RV. So now that that is checked, we want to click our button, which is going to clear out the due date and set the completed date to today. So let me just click that button and it edited one page. You can see down here, clean RV is set to 1031, which is today when I'm filming this and it cleared out the due date and now it's ready for me to add another date. Now you could do this process automatically through automations. So instead of clicking a button, you could just have it going on behind the scenes. I also have that set up. So I'm gonna click the automation lightning bolt at the top of the database. If you don't see this, it's probably because you have a free plan. Again, this is a paid feature, but I have called it reset recurring tasks. So anytime a page in this filtered view, and that's important because I don't want to reset all of my tasks. I just want to reset tasks in this view. When the status is set to complete or I've checked it off, then automatically set completed to today, clear out the due date and status is now. So those are the same exact instructions that I have on the button, except it's happening automatically whenever I check the task off instead of checking it off and then going in and clicking the button to reset set the task. I hope that makes sense. I go over automations in more detail with a few other use cases in my Notion Magic video. So check that out. Link will be in the description if you want to learn more about automations because it is a really cool feature. Unfortunately, there is no automated way to apply the due date. This is what I desperately want because I want whenever I check a recurring task off to be able to tell it, please set this for a week in the future or set this to go every Friday. That's what I would love for this method. I don't know if Notion will come out with it, but if this feels a little bit too fiddly or a manual for you, then you're going to like the next method, which is recurring database templates. Let me show you how that works. Let's go over to my master task list and set up an example recurring database template. I actually already have one set up here called run business payroll. So you're going to click the drop down arrow next to new at the top right of the template, click new template, and then you can add whatever it is you want to do automatically. So let's just do update finances. Let's give it a recurring icon so that it stands out. Then we can set all the properties that we want to automatically. So this is going to be a high priority. It's also going to be a home and personal task. It's going to not take a lot of energy and it occurs every single week. So now I can hide the properties that I don't want to see, get out of this page, go back into that drop down arrow and click the three dots to the right of that new template. So this is where I can set this template to repeat. I click on the off and I want it to repeat every single week on a Friday, not a Tuesday. And I also want it to start this Friday and it's gonna create it at midnight, your local time. So I can save that. And now every single Friday, that task will be added to my task list. This is currently the most automated way to add recurring tasks to Notion. However, there are some drawbacks to it. And I don't think people talk about this enough. First of all, repeating database templates create a brand new page every single time. So whereas the manual method, you're just creating one page for your task and then changing the due date every single time and reusing that page, this is creating a new page. And maybe that doesn't bother you, but for me, I feel like it's a lot of unnecessary digital clutter because for one task to check in with my finances every Friday, I'm going to have 52 update finance pages in my database. And even though Notion is great at a lot of things, 
I have felt like if you add a ton of media and pages to a database, over time it does slow down. So that is something you may wanna think about. But here is my biggest problem with recurring database templates, and that is it will not show up on your task list until the exact day and time that it is duplicated. Whereas in Todoist, you can see the next week, two weeks, month, six months down the road, however long that task is set to repeat, you can see the new due dates for it. But here you can't, and that is a big problem for me because I like to plan my tasks a week at a time, and it's also very important to me that I don't overload a bunch of tasks on certain days. So whereas, yes, I could always remember that, oh yeah, I wanna clean the RV on Fridays, I wanna update finances on Fridays, I want to do my meal plan on Saturday, I also wanna make sure, like, all that stuff, I can keep in my head while I'm planning for my week, but I don't feel like I should have to. That is the point of a task management system to be able to carry the heavy load for you so you don't have to use your brain to store information and you can use it to be creative. Let me just pop over to my weekly planning page so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So when I'm planning my tasks, I want to see them all in a week's time, in a weekly calendar view. That is how I make sure I don't overload my days because I have two rules for myself, no more than five tasks a day, and then making sure that no more than two of those tasks are high energy tasks. So energy is displayed here by the lightning bolts. So you'll see on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have two high energy tasks. I don't wanna add more than that. Now, if I use recurring database templates for all of my repetitive tasks that I have to do every single week, those are not going to show up here. So I may overload my days and not realize it until that task pops into today's list. So you can probably already guess what I do. I tend to prefer the more manual way to make sure that I am assigning the right due date so that they show up where I can plan my week accordingly. However, I do still use recurring database templates, but I use them sparingly. One of the places I use them you already saw was Run Business Payroll. So my husband is responsible for that. I don't need that to show up on my week. So I have it set to recur every month on a certain day of the month. And he knows that when that pops on his to-do list, it just takes like five minutes to run payroll. That's not a big deal. I also use recurring database templates in my daily journal. Down here under the drop down arrow, you can see that I have a recurring database template for every day of the week. This is set to populate in my daily journal database here on this page and then also on my personal dashboard page where I track my habits. And that way it's just here for me when I wake up, open my computer and I can check off the first habits that I've done for the day. So that's how I prefer to use them, not for recurring tasks, but for recurring pages that I duplicate on an ongoing basis. Like I mentioned before, I use the paid automation feature so that whenever I check off a task, whenever I say it's done, then it clears the due date for me, resets it back to its original status, and then I can go in every single week and just update the due date. So that's how it works for me. If you're not sure which way is best for you, I hope this gave you at least some answers on what to think about for each different method. They both take about the same amount of time to set up, and one is just gonna be a little bit more manual on an ongoing weekly basis, but as long as you have a routine, I find it goes really quickly. Or if you want it completely automated, you don't care about how many pages it adds to your database, you don't need to plan one week ahead at a time, then go ahead and use those recurring database templates. The best part is you can always switch to the other method if one you find out is not working for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and this deep dive into one of the most talked about Notion features. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.